Hey, it's good to see you again, sir. Well, if it isn't Gaius. I haven't seen you in a while for, what, half a year now? Little Elisa's here, too. Why, I don't think I've seen your face in, oh, must be coming up to five years now. Wait, what? Could this be... Get, get, get... <laughs> yep, Grandpa! Called it. Grandfather, what are you doing here? <laughs> well then. That is her Grandpa. Huh. Well, I guess that's the one way to be introduced. Let me give you a proper welcome. Gwen Reinford. Hmm. I'm Gwen Reinford, Lisa's favorite granddad. Pleased to meet you all, Class 7. The honor to meet you, sir. I'm Reen, Reen Schwarzer. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Emma Milstein. You, Zabarea. It's an honor. Ah, a promising group of young folks, if I ever seen one. See, there was. Can't even read my lines anymore. But you sure done a lot of growing in the last five years, Lisa. You're taller and bigger. Does does this old man's heart good to see how easy the eye, how easy on the eyes you become? Grandfather, please, you forget about me. What have you been doing out here all this time? Back when you disappear from Roar, I never have believed that it's some th that if someone told me this is where you find you, do you have any idea how word do you have any idea how word I've been? Come now, seem I send you letters a couple t uh, a couple times a year, don't I? And of course, I read all the ones you give to Sharon too. Still, have been here the whole time this past five years? Just about. I don't say year-round, though. Spent about half the year traveling around the continent, seeing friends or visiting the Empire. I see. Um, Mr. Reinford? Would you mind if I asked you how you know so much about your field study? Our, our field study? He does raise an excellent point. It almost seems like as though you were expecting us to pay a visit. Well, it just coincidence the truck broke down when it did. But I admit, ever since the Irenia told me you were coming to the Highlands, I figured I'd see you at some point. Still talk to Mother? Yes, indeed. Although just a bare minimum. Girl's zeal for her work borders are unhealth or unhealthy. <sighs> what I ever do to turn into such a workaholic? Elisa? Anyway, we're done with our coffee, so let's head over to the settlement and have a look at the truck. Just wait outside for a bit while I go get up some tools. Oh, actually I caught a few good sized trout. Can you take them over to the settlement when you do? Of course. He seems very, very welcoming. Although it does kind of point out that mom is just being cold to everybody, not just Elisa. So, the former chairman of the Ranford group. I knew of him by name, but he is a far more lighthearted man than I would have guessed. Indeed, he seems very easygoing. You can say that you can say what you th really think. You're not going to hurt my feelings or anything. Everyone loves him because he's all laid back and approachable. Mostly he's just ca uh, capricious and irresponsible. And then five years ago he just. Elisa. Never mind. Let's get going. As soon as he's ready, we. As soon as he's ready, we're heading back to the settlement. All right. Let's wait for him by the garage. I guess that's what we can do. I knew it's somebody, I knew it, I knew it, it's somebody from Elisa's life. Oh, it's also evening time. <sighs> it's kind of nice to know that the day is going to end pretty soon. That means I can take a little break pretty soon as well. The recordings are long and everything, but it's nice to know that I can get a lot done in one recording session and then cut, chop it up into episodes and upload it. It's great. Gaius, should we head back to the settlement? Hey, Gaius, you're pretty good in terms of my grandfather, right then? Something like that. We've only known him for a couple of years, but all of us in the settlement owe him a lot. Myself included. Ah. Okay, we're good to go. Might have arrived with one of you? Grandfather? You aren't driving? Nah, the engine's been acting up a bit lately, so I'd rather not. Besides, how could I pass up a chance to get to know my granddaughter's classmates a little better? Reen's right. Reen, right? Got a room for one more up there? I guess we are. Gonna go ride along? Gonna have a full ride along. Cool. Why do I have to pick Reen? He better not give me. He better not be giving him any funny ideas. <laughs> oh my god. Grand, Grand I'm gonna play uh, Wingman. I'm sure that isn't the case. I feel a bit more at ease if you focus more on the reins, though. 
How's little Shannon doing these days? Or she recently started working at your dormitory. That's right. I haven't, had, I haven't had too much time to get to know her. She seems really skilled at what she does. Oh, she is. Very much so. More importantly, she's really cute. <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna be... He's a pervy old man. He's a chill back, laid back pervy old man. He always has a lovely deserved air. There's plenty... Uh, there's a playful side to her, too. Wish it's, I wish she'd sign on as my personal maid. I'd be life. Yeah. But that Emma girl's real nice, too. She got those glasses. That Harry want, he want her to let down. And she's class press material to boot. That smoldering homeroom hottie if I ever saw one. <laughs> I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. Come on, you know you agree with me. Well, I can't really say that I disagree with you, but... Um, if you don't mind me asking, why'd you never tell Lisa that you were here? Hmm. Tell Marine. What kind of girl do you see her as? Um, well, I'd say she's a really hard worker, in a great many respects. Oh, I have no doubt of it. She's good looking, she's good looking, polite as, ever, polite as well mannered as any noble's daughter, and intelligent. And that all comes natural to her. She's not some persona she forces on herself. Yeah, amazed at how effortless she makes it all seem. And yet, she has a habit of trying to resolve everything without re relying on anyone else for support. But she hasn't escaped that notice of a canny young man like yourself. It does seem like that sometimes, yeah. She's kind, and her sense of duty compels her to always see things through. But she always keeps everything bottled up, like she never wants to let on let on to anyone that she needs help with a problem. I'm Lisa. R. From Roar. It's not like I'm trying to make a big deal out of it or anything. Just, if I were new, I'd make things awkward between us. I don't want that. I don't want that. She's, she's a self-reliant girl. She's definitely a self-reliant girl, but sometimes she doesn't rely on anybody at all, at all whatsoever. Doesn't mean dare to. I feel the relation between her mother and I caused her to end up that way. Or, to be more specific, the conflict between the two of us. And that's why I didn't tell her where I was. But I'll leave that up to her to fill in details about that. Sure, the ones the two of you are a bit closer. She'll tell you on her own. A bit closer. I uh, I have a feeling that's a critical misunderstanding going on there. Oh, is that so? I thought there was a little something going on between you two after seeing your name come up in one of the letters. Well, we did have that unfortunate accident back at the start of the year. That's all it was. We eventually got it sorted out, and nothing really happened since. An accident, huh? Did you accidentally collide with her on your way to school, causing her to rob the toast that she that she held between her sweet lips? <laughs> what? As the dust cleared, the two of you find yourselves sprawling on the ground in a likely yet hard racing position. That's a really odd specific question. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is great, it's hilarious. But I don't know what kind of a hard racing position you are. Oh. Uh. So, something really did happen, didn't it? Now just tell old Gwen here all about it. I want every last juicy detail. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love this guy. He's great. He is great. He just he just he just sticks around. That's great. That's awesome. Grandfather, please. <laughs> this guy is great. Oh boy. Like this is a this is a this is a, a shot of somebody hey, watching us. Isn't that yep, somebody is watching us. Oh, this girl. Ooh, it's those military academy students. I wonder what they're doing all the way out here. Oh well. It looks like things are gonna start getting interesting. <laughs> oh God, seeing those Russian letters is still so weird. Sheesh. Gramps and the others can be so unreasonable sometimes. I really do wonder what mission she's talking about. What are they doing here? What is... This is some sort of background forces happening in the background. Yeah, wow, that, that sounds real stupid the way I said it. Something going on in the back. There's like a subplot happening. It's gonna be relevant at the end.
I bet. I bet she's going to be really relevant to, towards the end. Last night, the people of the settlement had a banquet at the Elder's house for us, Gwen and Norton. I guess that's what the girl was talking about when they said about a party, getting prepared to go for a party. That's kind of cool. I don't know what we've done without you, Gwen. Here's to you, my friend. And to you! Come on, Lacken. This boost isn't going to ring itself. Yes, yes. Cause you'll hardly believe it. Finding the famous Gwen Ryanford out in the sticks like this. You know him then? Of course! He sees no opportunities of the Orbital Revolution to make Ryanford the industrial powerhouse that is today. It's only gotten big since his daughter took over. Ranford Company was originally an arms manufacturer, making no name on firearms and such. Then it went a massive expansion of their lineup and started working on orbital weapons and railway projects. I suppose that's what it must look like to the nobility. But the company does business all across the continent, not just domestically. Gwen has a refreshingly international outlook for an Erebonian businessman. I see. I knew he was a keen man, but I didn't realize he was that famous. The real mystery is why someone would work walk away from that in the first place. Some people say he got ill and had no choice but to stand down, but look at him now. He's a picture of health. So maybe there's some truth to that old rumor after all. No? What do you mean? It's just something I heard a long time ago. No real proof of it, and we all the, uh, and we all the Imperial Chronicles are in the business of printing based on speculation. Alisa? Oh, I think my eyes were or bigger than my stomach. I'm going to go. I'm gonna go out and get a little fresh air, okay? All right. Alisa. Rain. Alisa's going out to get some fresh air. Would you mind going and keeping her company? Not at all. But why me? You're the class president, after all. Make for better company. No, no. Trust me. I think you're definitely the best man for the job. Well, if you say so. Alright, I'll be back in a little while then. <sighs> I'm such an idiot. What am I even doing? Wow, would you like that view? Amazing, isn't it, Elisa? It's so pretty. Come on, you two. We need to get going. We're running behind schedule. Now, now, let them have the fun. It's not often you get a day off like this. Why not try to relax for once? I'm guessing that's the dad over there. Oh. Elisa? Oh, Reen. Well, what are you doing out here? Did you eat too much? My mouth says no, but my stomach's thinking yes. You doing okay? You seem a bit unsteady there. Nothing like that. I'm just feeling a little out of it. I'm just going to stay out here for a while and get some fresh air. Then I'll be f Whoa! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> what? What, what? What happened? See? What did I tell you? We've been riding all day. I'm not surprised you're feeling tired. Riding a horse really takes it out of you. Oh, fatigue. Okay, that's what it was. I guess you're right. Why didn't that occur to me before? Hey, Elisa. Look up at the sky. Huh? Oh, wow! You know, I didn't even notice it last night because we turned in so early. But now that we know... If you're out here to get some air, better to take in the starlight than look at the ground, right? You're right. My father was a technician. Eight years ago, he passed away. My family was never really the same after that. Mother was director of the company back then. She focused all of her energy on making the Reinford Group even bigger. 
She used to treasure our family, but after that, it's like she could barely spare a thought for us. Oh, she did seem like a talented businesswoman when we met her. Well, more than talented to run the Reinford Group. What you saw in Ruber Station was just a watered-down version of her normal intensity. We'd be able to have dinner together maybe once every three months, and that's being generous. But at least I wasn't alone. Grandfather and Sharon were always there for me. That's how it was, huh? I guess you've known Sharon for a long time then. Yeah, my mother hired her about seven years ago. Being a Reinford and all, I never had many people I could really call friends when I was young. The nobles looked down on me, of course, but the common people treated me like I was different from them, too. At least with my grandfather and Sharon around, I never felt totally alone. Grandfather introduced me to all kinds of different hobbies, like horseback riding and playing the violin. Sharon taught me self-defense and archery, and all the high society etiquette expected of a lady. Meanwhile, my mother kept expanding the company completely against the wishes of my grandfather, the chairman. I see. Though, hasn't Reinford always been a big industrial company? Kind of, yeah. Even back then, they took on projects in all fields, from steel mills to railway construction to guns and tanks. It's not surprising there are people out there who like to call the company a merchant of death. I can't say I completely agree with that side of the company, but I've never felt embarrassed or ashamed about it. But a few years ago, the Reinford Group finally went too far. What do you mean? Those two railway guns set up in Gorelia Fortress on the eastern edge of the Empire? You know about those, right? Yeah, I've heard of them. They're supposed to have the longest range of any orbital cannon in the world. I've only seen their spec sheets, but the destruction they're capable of is terrifying. Erebonia's still fighting with Calvert over Crossbell, and those guns are capable of targeting any point in Crossbell's state. In just a couple hours, they could wipe Crossbell City and its 500,000 citizens off the map. No way. That's way beyond being a weapon of war. More like an instrument of massacre. I couldn't agree more. And neither could my grandfather, who supervised their construction. Even though my mother was the one who signed off on the project, my grandfather regretted it like the decision was his. As he was hesitating over whether to hand them over to the Imperial Army, my mother betrayed him. What? She went behind his back and secured the support of all of Reinford's major shareholders. Everyone from Ruhr's ruling lord Marquis Rogner to the top brass of the Imperial Army was on her side. In the face of such overwhelming pressure from all sides, my grandfather was forced to capitulate. He stepped down as chairman and my mother wasted no time taking his place. <sighs> That's when my grandfather decided to leave the company entirely. And me. I thought I'd at least have Sharon on my side, but she just did whatever my mother told her to do. It's been five years since then already. Oh. I think I get it now. Why she gets under your skin, I mean. It's not so much what your mother did, but how it ended up tearing your family apart. Yeah. I couldn't believe my mother would betray her own father. I couldn't believe grandfather would take it without fighting back. I couldn't believe Sharon, who'd always supported me, watched it all happen without a word of protest. It really drove it home to me. How big the Reinford group was now, and how small I was. I hated realizing it had become so large that corporate interests were stronger than family ties. Looking back, I guess that's when I decided I'd leave home and enroll in the academy. <laughs> Even when I ran, I couldn't go far enough to escape my mother's shadow. Or the Reinford name. Then I come here and find my grandfather happily enjoying a whole new life without a care in the world. When I stepped outside, I was feeling so lost, so frustrated. Wondering what I'd been doing all this time. But it's kind of strange, you know? I look up at the stars and it feels like I can escape the gravity of everything. I think I'm finally starting to understand why my grandfather chose to leave it all behind and move out here in the first place. 
<laughs> you really are strong, Elisa. Stronger than you realize. You were finally ready to talk about it. About your family and the company and everything. So, maybe you've found what you were looking for to move past that, right? <laughs> maybe you're right. But I don't think I would have been able to if I hadn't enrolled at the Academy. Meeting everyone in Class 7, the Lacrosse Club, you... I'm a better person for it. Your support has already made a difference. So, thanks. Thanks for worrying about me. And thanks for reminding me to look up, not down. <laughs> Anytime. Though, truth be told, I came to check on you because Emma asked me to. Sorry to ruin the moment. <laughs> I thought that might be the case. Oh well, there's always next time. It's kind of strange to hear you tell me I'm strong, because I could say the same thing about you. You always seem to get thrust into the role of leader, someone we can count on to keep us on track. <laughs> I guess running errands on all my free days is really helping me buckle down. Still, I feel like I've got a long way to go, especially when I keep running from myself. Huh? Remember back in Keldic? I said that I came to the Academy to find myself, but sometimes I wonder if maybe I just wanted to get away from my family, from myself. Oh. Do you not get along well with your family? Oh, I do. I'm not their real son, but my parents always loved me like I was. My sister and I, we've had our differences, especially lately but we still get along pretty well. No, the problem's just with me. Reen. <laughs> still, I suppose the fact you were finally ready to talk about it means that maybe you found what you were looking for to move past that, right? <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd have the chance to feed you your own good advice so soon? I can't believe you can just say things like that with a straight face. Maybe being on the receiving end every now and then will do you some good. <laughs> Alright, you got me. I admit defeat. But yeah, I guess I'm starting to figure things out. In my own way. Maybe enrolling at Thoris was the first thing I'd done right in a long time. I ended up in Class 7. And now, all of us are out here like this, spending time together. Yeah, I like that. I hope the things we learn during our field studies can help us all make a difference in the world. So... Wait, all of us? <coughs> <laughs> you two were gone so long that we started to get a little worried. N no way! How long have you been listening? Still, I suppose the fact that you were finally ready to talk about it means that maybe you found what you were looking for to move past that, right? S stop <laughs> Oh my god, this is... Oh. <laughs> Marine! He was the one who said it first! I was just re repeating it back to him! This is so anime, but I love it! <laughs> so corny and cheesy, but I love it! <laughs> oh, Lisa, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Honestly, you touched my heart. I apologize for eavesdropping on you, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad I did. How did I end up in the middle of this anyway? <laughs> Fine, if that's how you want to play it. None of you are getting any sleep until you've shared all your most embarrassing secrets. What? I, I, I don't... <laughs> you wish. Seems like you did well. Honestly, I feel like she helped me more than I helped her. Hey, guys? Hmm? This is a really beautiful place. Yeah, ain't it? At least I can now use the S-Craft Rosetta Arrow. Oh, Ooh, finally! You're moving up in the world! Finally! 
Oh, and we also get it. I've got a little reward here for you. Oh, <gasps> dude. Okay, that's actually good. See, this is why AP is important. This is why AP is really important for these kind of things. Received ingenuity as a perk. Obtained AP 28 so far in total. We have 143 AP in total, and we're currently right now in rank B2. So close to moving up to rank A. So close. Drinks are on me someday. Someday. <laughs> Okay, two feet to five hours. Shift's almost over. No sound of anything suspicious or anything at all, really. Why do you even do this every day? You don't know what the point of having a sentry is, right? Oh, hey, you're early. But come on now, you gotta get where I'm coming from at least a little. Couldn't understand if you go posting near Crossbell, but it's gonna start a war out here in the boondocks. You never know, right? Perhaps the fact that you never expected would make it a perfect place to start a war. Besides, Lieutenant General Vanders says we need to stay on alert. He knows the situation better than we do. Lieutenant General is a great man, yeah. But what are those big shots from the 3rd Armored Division doing stationed in some backwater place like this anyway? You think our rumor's true? That he got posted here because he wouldn't help the blood of the Iron Ca Chancellor? And watch what you say. That kind of idle gossip is how rumors, is how rumors get wings. Fine, fine. Shh. Such a killjoy. Anyway, you got things covered here? I wanna go get some sleep. Got a few minutes left on my shift. But you hear it? Hey, who's counting? Honestly. Wait, what was that? What the? What happened? Did they just get shelled? Who had the order to attack? No one. I've heard nothing of the sort. Then the gate needs to know about the. What the? No way! Ah! An enemy attack? Where's it coming from? No! Oh, ideas. Oh, shit! Oh, my god. If this survived that, I'm gonna be very surprised. Good lord! Well. Yeah, definitely save. Definitely save. Oh my god. This is where I'm actually gonna take a break, y'all. I gotta take a break mostly because I... I don't know, I just... I, I'm just tired. I just need to take a certain break. I've been recording for so long. I gotta take a little break here. Anyway, we'll be coming back as soon as possible to see what's going on there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed uh, the episode. My name is Stemmer. Like, subscribe, and subscribe every day. And I'll see you all next episode of whatever we make. Anyway, see ya. Ooh.